Hey guys, Mechanic CG here and welcome back to another episode of Forza Motorsport. Today is episode number 27. If you guys do enjoy the video, make sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe, and let's get into the content. This video was not streamed live on Twitch, but instead was recorded directly for YouTube. However, if you do want to see us record these videos live for YouTube, then feel free to check the description down below for the link. All right, so we are taking part in the uh, next event, which I believe is a Class B championship. It is. Uh, so this one is going to be around Sakuba Circuit, Laguna Seca, Maple Valley, Sunset Peninsula Infield, Blue Mountains Raceway, and finishing off with Test Track Infield. Let's get cracking. Okay, we are here, Sakuba Circuit. We're in the... Um... I've actually already... I think this is Toyota Romeo 2. Pretty good car. And uh, it's fairly fast. I'm hoping it's fast enough to uh, stay in the lead, though. Oh, my God. The input lag, though, is so much better with this controller. Which should hopefully make it a lot better when it comes to... Um, what's it called? Forza, Motorsport 2, 3, and 4. I think, though, before... Um, obviously, the latency of the wireless controller of the 360 was quite shit. <laughs> but, like, this is almost near instant now. And it's still wireless. So, definitely a worthwhile upgrade. It was 40 quid... So it's it's not cheap, but it's definitely better than seven, spending um, money on a wired 360 controller and then buying a brand new uh, Xbox One controller when I can just use my already going PS5 controller. And when this breaks, I just buy a new PS5 one, which can be used for everything. Makes the most sense that way. And then what that means is I can throw away my old Xbox One controller. Get rid of him. I don't want him. <laughs> I think this car's actually got a little bit of a buggy engine noise as well. Not bad so far. We got this. Do you know, I didn't actually notice that uh, black line going along the side of the car before. But uh, for some reason, I can see it now. Even though when I was painting the car just a minute ago, there wasn't a black line down the side. Not that I noticed anyways. I don't know why, I feel like the NSX probably would have been a little bit faster. But this MR2 is doing a good job. Mixes up what cars we're using as well for the uh, for the series. Because I've been saying I need to mix up what we use. And I used the uh, NSX three times so far now. So avoiding it one more time would be ideal. <laughs> In fact, not using it again would be ideal. I'm going to have to try and find another car for the B Championship Endurance event. Oh god, the Endurance event. I forgot about those. That's going to be fun. <laughs> Non-stop driving for about 30 minutes to an hour for each event. Oh shit, gone wide. I think a majority of the events are anywhere from 30 to 45 minutes, except for the final one, which is an hour. So. But the final one is going to be a big one, because once we've done that, once we've done the final event, it will literally be the day after the final event's done, Motorsport 2 is starting on my channel, so. <laughs> 
It's going to be an exciting day when that happens. Rem, 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 rem. This car is extremely quick. Extremely quick. I'm going to have to change the music because uh, the music that I'm listening to, I'm a little bit bored of it. I've been listening to Jazzy Drum and Vegas for the past two hours. <laughs> I got nothing wrong with Jazzy Drum and Bass, but I don't like listening to the same type of music for more than two hours. Oh, a bit of slide there. Huh, sixty nine. I think it's thirty laps for the actual long event. But um because there's a long endurance event for I think it's D class. It's either D or C class. I wanna say it's D. Um around this track. It's gotta be quite interesting to uh see how it goes oh I don't want to change the camera thank you very much so the last lap was our fastest lap There's so many broken engine noises in this game, it's unreal. But I feel like that's just an artifact of the emulation. Because a lot of the time when games are emulated, um, sounds are the one thing that break before anything else. Sounds and visuals, but the rest of the game seems to work majority of the time perfectly fine. So I think that is just an emulation artifact. Because again, this is being played on a 360. It's not actually been played on an original console. I don't have the money for an original console. Or the space. There you go, not bad. Second to last time round this corner here. There you go, very nice. And a final lap. Let's see if I can beat my best lap time. I, I don't think I'm going to. Oh, I might do. Nah, we, we ruined it on that last corner. That hairpin. 
Oh well. Still done a pretty fast uh, final lap there. Oh no, we did beat it. 101.015. Not bad at all. I will take that. 25 grand. Lovely. Alright, here we go. Oh, I still forgot to change my music. Hang on, can I do it on the fly very quickly? Let's go for it. I got, I got new music. <laughs> and it did not take me too long. Right. Laguna Seca. This track I hate with a passion just because of the corkscrew. Such a pain in the ass in this game. And in a majority of games, to be honest. And what's even worse is Laguna Seca is one of those tracks that actually stayed... For the entire lifespan of Forza Motorsport. It stayed. So every single Forza Motorsport, we're going to have to part up with this track. But luckily, Miguelo gets added on um, the second entry of the franchise. So we get a good track for number two. And I want to say Twin Ring Mategi is in number three and four. It's definitely in four though. So it's definitely going to be exciting driving around Twin Ring Mategi. There's loads of tracks in Motorsport 4. Like, there's a good 40 tracks. Something like that. Something crazy. I think Motorsport 7 is the only game that actually has more tracks. But then Motors Motorsport 5 and 6 might have still have more. I'm not sure. I don't think they do, actually. we go. Not too bad so far. Present. Hey, hey, hey. Listening to some good old uh, jungle drum and bass. <laughs> The fact is, I didn't know, like, jungle drum and bass, right, is quite an interesting genre. And a lot of, like, mainstream songs are actually jungle drum and bass that I didn't realise. Like, Gold Dust, for example. Gold Dust by DJ Fresh, technically speaking, is jungle drum and bass. It ticks all the boxes. That's actually pretty crazy to think about. <laughs> Some good old-fashioned music that I grew up with. I've always liked. Right, car behind isn't catching up too much. I'm going to have to run a little test on um, Motorsport 2. See how that looks. Should look fine. Oh dear. Not too bad.
Not too shabby. Coolio. Right. Ooh. Oh, I gotta load up the uh, spreadsheet and uh, edit these two events as completed. Well, obviously, once I've completed this one, I gotta put this one down as completed and the next one, uh, the last one down. I can't believe we're already on episode 27, though. That's pretty crazy. So far, on average, we've been getting one to two videos a day made. Obviously, we've had some time away because Twitch lockout and COVID. I'm still locked out of Twitch. This isn't even being streamed. Hi, Twitch. Oh, wait. There's no one there. Because <laughs> we're not live. <laughs> it's brilliant. I'm hoping that the next session... Um, so, the plan is... If I get my account back by Monday... We're going to do Monday and Tuesday. I'm going to be Forza streams. To get as much footage as possible. Um, if not, then on Monday... I'm going to do another Forza recording session. Um, and hopefully by Wednesday I'll have my account back. I'm just hoping by tomorrow I'll get my phone number back as well. Because I, I have the number in my possession. I've got the SIM card. I've got the replacement SIM card. I just need access to my number. My old number. I'm still technically paying for it. I haven't cancelled it. There's no need to cancel it, though, because it's included with the Wi-Fi. It's just the contract. It's like one gig of data. It's just not enough. And I obviously had the intention of uh, planning some long streams. Planning some uh, IRL streams and stuff like that on Twitch. Which, for me to be able to do that, needs unlimited data, pretty much. Because I want to be able to stream at like 1080 60 as well. Like have super high quality. Oh, here we go. Not too bad. 816.660. I'll, uh, I'll save that replay. We'll use this track. Not too bad. I'll take my money, thank you. And we'll get out of here. Alright. Maple Valley. Oh, that was rubbish. Why did I shift up then? That uh, Shelby looks uh, a little bit hungry for blood. All right, not too bad. Here we go. Awesome. Sorry, Miss Jackson. Dunna bana. Dunna no. Nana na na na. Dunna na 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 na. We go, not too bad.
The only thing I will say is um, because of the PS5 triggers being a little more, uh, the springs aren't as strong on them. It does mean that I'm tapping the brake and like accidentally putting the brake on more often than uh, than not. There we go. There we go. Ooh. We've got uh, two, 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 two more laps. Not too bad. Come on, Miss Jackson. Not too bad. There we go. Awesome. No, 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 no. That's not going well. <laughs> Taking it straight off the road there. Need some uh, rally suspension in this thing. Uh, I d Do you know what? I'm really hoping. So um, they've announced that on the 12th of June, which I believe will probably be about a month after this video goes live uh xbox and bethesda are doing an event and they're going to be uh broadcasted it's sort of like an e3 replacement basically um and uh i'm hoping that we get a forza motorsport announcement because it's been a while since we've had one of them I mean, uh, Forza Motorsport 7 came out nearly five years ago now, so we're due another Forza Motorsport. Uh, and we're also due, technically speaking, we should have had Forza Motorsport 8 before Horizon 5, but clearly it's not come out. The, the only thing I'm really not hoping that they do is do a... Um, What's it called? A long running thing. Like a live service kind of thing for Forza Motorsport 8. Because if they do that and they just call it Forza Motorsport, they're going to ruin Motorsport. I think they need a proper storyline, a proper event structure. But have it so the game lasts about three years. They add some DLC and then they make a whole new one. Otherwise, they're just going to kill off the Forza franchise. 
Anyways. That was a uh, good race there. 6 minutes 54. Not too bad. All right. Sunset Peninsula. Infield. I do actually quite like Sunset Peninsula, so this is a good one. The only thing I'm really gutted about is this... A lot of the fake tracks that Forza had did get removed um, going from Motorsport 4 to 5. A lot of fake tracks got removed, which is kind of a shame. Obviously, going from Generation... Ge oh my god, I've got a list. <laughs> going from Generation to Generation, it's guaranteed that a lot of stuff will get removed. I mean, you look at... Um... Gran Turismo 3 had a lot of stuff removed that was in Gran Turismo 2. Uh, Gran Turismo 5 had a lot of stuff that was removed from Gran Turismo 4. And now Gran Turismo 7... It, it, Gran Turismo Sport had a lot of stuff removed from Gran Turismo 6. And even... Uh, okay, Gran Turismo 7 doesn't have anything removed from Sport. But technically speaking... Gran Turismo 7 is the next generation game compared to six so yeah a lot of stuff gets removed from uh, between generation and generation but it is a, it is a shame to see some of the tracks get removed I mean there are quite I, I'm trying to think what tracks were actually available in a uh, multiple two that were added I think Magello is one of the big ones that got added Oh, but the entire the entire first section, like, of events, is all um, what's it called? Test track. The test track infield, but uh, in Motorsport Two, instead of being just one long route, they actually made multiple different routes. So, at least in in that sense, they made it a little more exciting to drive test track. Because it's all slightly different. There you go, not too bad. Oh, I need to sneeze again. And my nose is all blocked up. Woohoo! <laughs> this COVID is going to drive me crazy now. Do, 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 All my friends are heathens, take it slow. Wait for them to ask you who you know. Please don't make any sudden moves. You don't know the half of the abuse. I still haven't watched Suicide Squad. I wanted to watch that years ago. It's been out like six years now. I've just never... I always forget to watch movies. I'm like, ah, oh, here's a cool movie. I want to watch it. And I never watch it. I end up getting addicted to stuff like Chicago Med and Chicago PD and stuff like that. Wait for them to ask you who you know.
Oh, nearly lost it there. Here we go, final lap. Oh! I don't think there's actually a way to take that section unless you're extremely fine with it. Like, extremely on point. To be able to take that uh, chicane without hitting the curbs at all. Because if you can do it without hitting the curbs, that's uh, impressive. But at least hitting the curbs doesn't knock off too much speed for you. I like that, which uh, knocks off quite a lot of speed if you do it horribly wrong like that. This car is insanely quick, though. Here we go. Coming up to the finish line. Coming up to the finish line. And there we go. Not bad. We got it. 650. Not a bad run. Oh, yay. Fun time. Blue Mountain Raceway. Woohoo. Sarcasm module enabled. Woohoo. Yeah, I'm really not, not a fan of this track. <laughs> If it wasn't made clear enough already. Oh yeah, final track is going to be um, test track. That's great. It's going to be an enjoyable event. <laughs> I am kind of glad that they got rid of Test Track for Motorsport 3. Because uh, when they removed Test Track, they actually added a new version of Test Track. Um, which basically was like three small test, test facilities. One of them was a... Uh, what's it called? Like a small, narrow track. One of them was a professional racetrack. Much wider. And the final one was like a small, almost like indie circuit, tiny little, almost go-kart track. But uh, mixed together, you can mix all three together and actually have all three tracks in one go. And that sort of made the test track. It was, it was really good. And uh, if you guys stick around, you'll actually uh, get to watch Motorsport 3 and all that stuff later on down the line. Which will be very exciting, might I add. <laughs> I think they did the same thing as uh, Motorsport 2 though, Motorsport 3, where they just used the test track for the first section. Um, but at least the test track is a little more varied in Motorsport 3. So, it's not as dull. It's still... Uh, I don't know. I think it was a shame that they removed the test track for Motorsport 5, 6, and 7. Because uh, after after Motorsport 4, there wasn't really a testing or a proving ground. It just went back to, oh, you're just on full tracks for the entire game. Here 
we go. Ba -na 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 -na. Oh dear. There we go. Back on track. I am predicting though that Motorsport 4 is going to take about half a year to do. And Motorsport 3 is going to take about four months. Meow. There we go. That is two laps completed so far. Not bad. I'm still gutted that I can't stream this though. I was definitely looking forward on um uh what's it called? Monday. This Monday to actually do a full stream, but it just didn't happen. And it's come to Friday and I was expecting to do the stream today. After getting the phone sorted out, but the phone's still not sorted out. There we go. There we go. Not bad. Storming our way through the pack. Okay, yeah, we definitely can't go flat out with that. Ooh. Nearly completely binned it. Ooh. Jesus. <laughs> that was like 20 seconds of on the edge of your seat driving. Definitely getting a bit risky. Lovely. Right, final events coming up after this as well. And then I can go and sleep. Actually, no, I've got to record voice lines. And then I've got to record a special intro, which you would have already seen anyways. But I got to do a separate little intro.
bum 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 ba dum Not bad. Oh, that was a that was a bad sneeze. <laughs> this is really bad. Kind of regretting recording today. <laughs> Here we go though. Coming across the finish line. Not bad. 9.09. Not quite level 34 yet. Alright, here we go. This is the uh, last race of this championship. I've just realised I've left the window open. It's actually getting quite cold. Oh well. There we go. Oh, going around the chicane. Lovely jubbly. Oh, no. Completely cocked that one up. Joe, you know one thing I am glad that Forza got rid of is that bloody um, countdown timer thing. What's it called? Penalties. So glad they got rid of penalties. Uh, to be fair, the penalties are only count towards your best lap time anyway, so it's not like they interfered too much, but still, they were annoying. Because it'd be like a big red number saying, oh, you've done this bad. Shattered. I think I've been recording for like three hours now. About an hour of that time has just been sat doing nothing. Oh, I'm going to sneeze again. I didn't sneeze. But now my nose is extremely blocked up. <laughs> Come on, we got this. Oh, this is a good song. Boo 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 I remember how much of a pain in the ass it was to edit this Forza series before. 
when I didn't have a PC. Now that I've got a PC, it's less of a pain in the ass. But it's now more of a pain in the ass unless I bought that SSD. So. <laughs> Want some more? Lovely. We're only on lap two of three. That's why I don't like this track, because it's too long. Like, four minutes 25 for a lap. We're easily looking at 13 minutes and tw 20 seconds. 13, 15, something like that. Not bad. There we go. Lovely. Not bad. Lap number two is done. Let's move on to uh, lap number three now. 
quite a quick car, this. Temper, yeah, yeah. This is a good tune. This is a good tune. I know this video has been a little bit quieter in terms of commentary, but to be honest, I'm, I'm not in the right frame of mind. <laughs> the COVID is really hitting hard, really hitting hard. But uh, hopefully, by the time it comes to the next video, the COVID will have died down a bit. Uh, and also, we'll be back live on Twitch as well. If not, I'll cry. Let's be honest, I will cry. Oh, there we go. Not bad. There we go. Ooh. Baby, I love the way. Yes, I do. we go coming out to the final section we've got one two three four corners left there's corner one Okay, so we we were miles off my uh, 1315 prediction, but we learned 25 grand, level 34, and we got suspension upgrades at 25% off. Nice. And what car did we get? We got the uh, Porsche number 23 911, and that is a GT car, so that's the start of uh, the uh, GT vehicle. I think a majority of the GT, the P1, and the R1. Events are all um, majority earned cars and unlocked cars, so that's pretty cool. That's the start of it. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.